Ooh, it is getting warm out there this summer. Don't know where you're watching this from, but it has gotten super, super hot where I am. And so stovetop slow cooker cooking is amazingly perfect. In here, I've got a pound and uh, a half of ground beef. And to that, we're gonna be adding a bag of these potatoes O'Brien. These are so great because they're potatoes, but they already have like onions and red and green peppers already in them. So that's just less time for you to spend in the kitchen. This is okay if they're frozen because it'll cook down. Then we're going to go ahead and turn this up to high to start. Yeah, the ground beef was actually cooked in this recipe. It's cooked ahead of time rather than putting a bunch of raw meat in there. Um, and I think that just makes things a little bit quicker to cook. And you are going to add a can, a whole can of this cream of chicken, cream of mushroom soup, not chicken. We're not making a chicken dish today. We are making a cheesy, beefy casserole in a slow cooker. So we're gonna put that whole can in there. And then we're going to be adding a small can just eight ounces of tomato sauce. This isn't tomato paste, just tomato sauce. And it's not like, I think it's like the base you would use for making like a pasta sauce if you're cooking from scratch. But in this case, it just adds a little bit of that tomatoey tang to our cheesy hamburger and potato dish. Okay, and then we're going to be putting a half cup of beef broth. Because again, we're using ground beef at the bottom here. And you're just going to pour this over. I like using it to like kind of rinse off my spatula. I don't think it works with the cream of mushroom soup. But we're going to make sure that is all put together like that. And guess what? That is it. <laughs> we, there's one last step. We're gonna add a whole bunch of cheese at the end right before serving, but I don't wanna put it in here just yet because it doesn't melt that great, I think, if you st start from cold. So let's go ahead and put this away. I'm gonna go ahead and put the lid on this, and then we are going to cook this either on low for six to eight hours or on high for three to five. So we will be back in a few hours and see what this crock pot has made for us. We'll be back in a minute. Ooh, to look at that, you know, I'm gonna add our final step of our sharp cheddar. This is the two cup bag. I'm gonna put the whole thing in here. And we're just going to take that, mix that in with all of our layers, with the potatoes and green peppers and onions, mixed in with the ground beef, cream of mushroom soup, a can of tomato sauce. Looks, I don't want to stir it up too much because you don't want the potatoes to just become mashed potatoes. So you just kind of want to leave it like that. Just enough for like the cheese to get all mixed in and blended. Comes this yummy, cheesy breakfast casserole. Not really a casserole. I think it's just more of a crock pot dish at this point. Let's go ahead and get a little bit. I want to make sure I get some of that potato and the ground beef together. Onto our tasting plate. Leave that right in there. Ooh, steaming. Hope I don't burn my taste buds off, but let's see. Mmm, -hmm. that is so good. It's delicious. I guess if you mix it up a lot, then you get like a mashed potato 
flavor, like the texture. Mm. But these have, look, the so actual squares of potato are still intact. The ground beef. Oh, and that little bit of hot sauce. Between you and me, I might add just a little bit more hot sauce so there's more of a kick. Mmm. But I, what I would do is I would put like a little tray of different hot sauces on the table and have everybody decide which one they want to use. Mmm. Same plate club. Mmm. This is absolutely delicious and this is still kind of go going. So I'm going to unplug it, turn it off, put it into a dish and take it over to our donation center. Um, I hope you really enjoyed watching this watching this recipe be made so easy. Um, and I hope you try this at home. It's, it's great for a weekend when you don't want to put in all the work. <laughs>